Sorry. Told you I was gonna sing. This is an original from Miss Wilder. Flip it. Two numbers are reciprocals when their product is one. You just flip the fraction over, then you're done. Reciprocals help you in dividing fractions, so flip it. Just flip it. You follow KFC, that means keep, flip, change. Keep the first fraction and change the sign. The opposite of divide is to multiply, so flip it. But you're wondering why we flip it. You flip it. No fraction wants to be divided. Oh yeah. Let the world know that you've got this down. Give them a big grin instead of that brown. And flip it. Flip it. Just flip it. Just flip it. Alright. So. That's my song, and I'm sticking to it. All right, we're going to talk about dividing fractions today. Dividing fractions. I told you I was going to get this up. All right, we're doing MCC6 NS1, which is Interpret and Compute Quotients of Fractions and Solve Word Problems, involving the division of fractions by fractions. Okay? I can statement. I can divide fractions by fractions. I want you to write three discussion questions when we get through. Okay? All right, just like the song said, we need some vocabulary. Okay, two numbers are reciprocals when their product is one. So the first word we need to know what the definition for is, is reciprocal. Okay, the reciprocal of one half is two over one. I flip it, okay? What you're doing is you're multiplying the opposite, which will always give you the product of one. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 over 1, or 2 over 2, is 1. See, so watch. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, so reciprocal. You flip the second fraction, you flip it over, and it gives you a product of 1 when you multiply them together. Okay, I also talked about KFC. KFC means keep, flip, change. KFC, not Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, so KFC. Keep, flip, change. All right, keep, flip, change. All right, so let's look at a problem. two-thirds divided by one-eighth. Okay, two numbers are reciprocals when their product is one. You just flip the fraction over, then you're done. Reciprocals help you in dividing fractions, so flip it. All right, you follow KFC. So I'm going to write KFC up here. All right, I'm going to keep the first fraction, change the sign from division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. Okay, you follow KFC, that is keep, flip, change. You keep the first fraction and change the sign. The opposite of divide is to multiply, so you flip it. Just flip it. Okay, and then we're just going to multiply across. We've done multiplying fractions before. This shouldn't be anything new. You multiply the tops together, so that's 2 times 8. You multiply the bottoms together, that's 3 times 1. Okay, 2 times 8 is 16. 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, and now I've got to change it back to an improper fraction. Okay, so we're going to use division. When you've got a, a fraction that's top heavy, you're going to divide the bottom number into the top number. So I've got 3 into 16. 
Okay, 3 goes into 16 5 times with 15. 16 minus 15 gives me 1. Okay, we're going to top, bottom, side. We're going to go around the world. So my answer is going to be 5. My, my quotient is my big number. Okay, my remainder becomes my numerator and my divisor is my denominator. So let me write that out. Okay, the big number is the quotient. Okay, your remainder. Okay, becomes your numerator. Okay, and your divisor becomes your denominator. Okay, so five and one third. Five and one third. The big number right up here becomes your quotient. Okay, the remainder, one, becomes your numerator, and the divisor, three, becomes your denominator. Okay, so let's try another problem. Four fifths divided by three elevenths. Okay, keep four fifths, flip three elevenths to make eleven thirds, and change the sign to multiplication. Four times eleven is forty four, five times three is fifteen. Okay, I need to change this into a mixed number. So I'm going to divide 15 into 44. 15 goes into 44 two times with 30. 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. So my answer is going to be 2 and 14 fifteenths. 2, my quotient becomes my big number. My remainder becomes my numerator. And my divisor is my denominator. So my answer is 2 and 14 fifteenths. Alright guys, I guess that means I will see you tomorrow. I'll be back. Toodles.